So Adam, let's start with Brian Flores. A lot of people were very surprised by this firing. So what can you tell us about this? I think there have been some feelings within the building and in the organization that something like this was possible, as surprising as it is now that it's come to reality today, Charlie. And I think there's a situation where basically I think there was some disagreement over the fate of some of the assistant coaches. There was a disagreement with Brian Flores and some people in the front office there regarding which assistant coaches would be staying and which assistant coaches would be going. I think there were some discussions about how power would be delegated and decisions would be made. And I think there was enough, there were enough issues that essentially the Dolphins and their owner, Stephen Ross, felt like the best thing to do was to take the Dolphins in a different direction. Now, the Dolphins go out and look for head coach, and a lot of people have thought, well, maybe Stephen Ross, a big Michigan supporter, would want to poach Jim Harbaugh from the University of Michigan. He laughed at that today, and our Jeff Darlington himself also reported that that's not the plan, that they're not going to hire Jim Harbaugh away from the University of Michigan. Though clearly the Dolphins must have an idea of the type of candidate that they could attract to Miami because you don't get rid of an established coach like Brian Flores without having potential replacements in mind. As for Brian Flores, I would expect that he will be one of the most coveted coaching candidates in the interview cycle and the hiring cycle that's coming up here in the next few days and weeks. You could look at any team with an opening and say, well, Brian Flores would fit there. He would fit there. He'd fit there. He'd fit everywhere. And so Brian Flores, I don't think, will be out of work terribly long. Maybe he'll have to be a little bit selective in the job that he wants to take coming off the Miami situation. But again, the Dolphins decided to make a change. They're keeping their general manager, Chris Greer, in place. He will help lead the search with Stephen Ross, Tom Garfinkel, the others there in Miami. But Brian Flores now is a coaching free agent, and the Dolphins are in the market for a new head coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he led the Dolphins to win eight of their last nine games. Well, now let's turn our attention to the Giants because – Adam, you said a few weeks ago that you thought his job was going to be safe. That's what you were hearing. But Dan and Ryan just went in on Joe Judge, given his play calling yesterday and how the Giants season ended so tragically. So what is the plan with the Giants moving forward? Well, Charlie, the plan a few weeks ago was to keep Joe Judge. And the plan still may be to keep Joe Judge, despite the fact that clearly Giant fans are unhappy right now with the team, with the performance. And we'll see what they ultimately decide to do. I think first things first here. If you break down the Giants situation, here's where we are. We expect that the general manager, Dave Gettleman, will step down today. And they will have an opening for a general manager. And they will look to go hire a general manager. And they probably will solicit the feelings of that particular general manager to see how he feels about keeping Joe Judge in place. Again, I think that there is a portion of the Giants organization that would like to keep Joe Judge, but... These last few weeks uh, have been terribly embarrassing for the organization. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a long, rambling press conference that didn't play well in New York and New Jersey. The performance on field has been subpar and embarrassing. And so it'll be up to the new GM to figure out what they're going to do. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.